Welcome to Philip Highlights, I'm Summer, and I'll be serving you the latest news of the week. Your news, our business. The US housing market is destined to keep sliding. The highest mortgage rates in 15 years have caused a soft demand, leading the pace of existing home sales to slow 31% since January. The average 30-year mortgage cost 6.6% more than twice what it did in January, ballooning this year's typical monthly mortgage payments from $1,005 to $2,300. And even though economists broadly expect the US Federal Reserve to slow the rates of interest rate hikes, government bank mortgage buyer Freddie Mac estimates that US home loans will cost about 6.4% through 2023. Oil rose as traders awaited further details of a plan to cap Russian crude prices and industry data show a drop in U.S. stock. West Texas Intermediate climbed above $81 a barrel after gaining about 1% of the previous session as equity and other commodity also advanced. European Union ambassador may meet later to approve the plan after officials watered down a related package of sanctions. Russia has said it won't sell crude to nations that use the cap, which is designed to punish Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine while keeping oil flowing. China is seeing near record numbers of COVID cases with 28,183 new infections recorded nationwide for Tuesday, spurring major cities from Beijing to Shanghai to revert to broad restriction on people's movement and mass testing exercises to contain thrilling outbreak. The Malaysian ringgit is at risk of giving up even more of this month's gains if party leaders cannot form a stable government. The currency fell as much as 0.7% to almost 4 ringgit 59 cents per dollar on Monday after the election result in a hung parliament and technical suggests it could reach the 4 ringgit 75 cent level. That's all for today. Stay tuned for the next Philippe Highlights. This update is brought to you by Flip Capital, your partner in finance. 